And I'm going to talk about auto, auto attendance for a minute. Now, how many of you guys use auto attendance today? So, okay. Yeah, a lot of people don't want to use them during business hours. They want a live body answering their calls. That's fine. Maybe you just use the auto attendant after hours. That's up to you. Or when the operator is getting overrun and you want to use it as a backup. Again, it's a business decision you guys can make. But I want to show you how you set it up. So if I go in here to main uh, auto attendant, let's see, let's just use the main menu. I think there's, yeah, we'll use that one. You give it a name, just like you did when I added an extension or a user. You give it an extension. It can, pull a, it can have a DID, of course, so the main number may hit the auto attendants. You can even give it a password so you can call in from home and change your auto attendant on the fly. So in case you're closed due to a snow day, you can actually call in from home, log into it over the phone, and re-record it, saying, hey, we're closed today due to the weather. The text is not text-to-speech. It's just there for records only. In case the auto attendant ever gets erased, you can pull this up and see what it's supposed to say. Probably don't want a computer-automated voice answering your calls anyway, right? So uh, if you want to have them professionally done, that's fine. You can have them professionally done and then import them in via WAV file with no problem. But you'll notice it says for sales, press 1. So if I go down here to 1, you'll see I've got to go to a menu, and that's going to be my sales auto attendant. So I'm, I'm putting them in a tree at that point. If I want to give them the ability to dial by name, I can click here and say dial by first name, dial by last name. The 0 through 9 just represents your keypad on your phone. And then you've got things like a timeout, uh, two wrong entries, et cetera, and what you want to do with that call. But again, just hit your drop down arrow and choose what you want to do with that call at any time. And it's hit save, and you've just programmed your auto attendant tree. Very, very easy. Anybody today programming your auto attendants? Is it? Does this look familiar at all? Or? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because again, there won't be any command line, command line interface anywhere in the system at all. Anytime you need help on the management software, just click help in the top right hand corner to come up to chapter 14, configuring auto attendants. It's dynamically linked through Adobe. All the documentation you'll ever need is stored online, so when you update your software, all your documentation gets updated as well. Any uh, questions on the management software? When you say online, online on the box or online on your server? Online on your server. On, the server. on your server, absolutely. That way it's up to date with your version of software. Because you, you could be you know, current, you could be a couple behind, it's up to you. Any, other, any questions about the management other than that?